We're back for another week of our premises and philosophies for the Minimal Steward channel here. One of the principal concepts that I run by is equilibrium. Big word, I know, don't worry about it. It's a really easy thing to adjust to. Equilibrium is merely balance and harmony. Balancing your life and the different aspects of your life is one of the crucial elements that you need to get used to. Balancing how many friends you have, balancing how many clothes you have, Everything that I do with my minimalism and my minimalist philosophy is founded on balance. Without this balance and being in harmony with the environment that I have set up for myself here in my house and in, and in the ecosystem of my relationships, everything kind of falls apart and gets a little difficult. Remember that 30 minutes that you're supposed to be taking every morning for a glass of water and then also making sure that you know what you're going to be doing for the rest of your day? That's one of the places where I started to find my balance and my harmony. That's where I started originally. Today, when I use these con this tool for myself, this 30 minutes that I have in the morning, I don't necessarily write things down with my schedule. I merely think about these things, but I don't just do it in the morning. I also do it at night, so I know what I'm going to be doing the next morning. Remember the last video that we had talked about parasitic and symbiotic relationships. That balance is also parasitic and symbiotic in that of itself. If your balance is out of harmony and you don't manage to get that place where you're feeling really structured, that becomes a very parasitic place. When you have too many things, you're out of balance. Minimalist philosophy then rebalances those things. That's why it's a minimal tool to process through those. Symbiotic relationships, much like you see in this environment, and you've seen in my wardrobe, and you've seen on my channel, and you've seen all the things that I've processed through, the stuffed animals that I've gotten rid of, the birthday cards that I've gotten rid of, all of those things are me re regaining the balance and harmony that I have in my own life. And that's something that I've been wanting to impart to all of you, is making sure that you find that balanced place, and that you create that symbiotic realm of stuff with relationships, with people, with everything that's in your life. This balancing takes a whole lot of energy. It doesn't ever end. That's one of the biggest challenges with this, is that it doesn't end. It will go on in ad infinitum. It just never ends. It won't end until the day that you're in the ground. It just won't. But knowing how to manage that will make it a lot easier. And the consistency with that also will help maintain that same symbiotic relationship. A couple of weeks ago, when I had the interruption with our Tools Week, uh, you had seen my room when it had gotten out of harmony and when the symbiosis had kind of faltered a bit because I was so busy taking care of so many different things, nurturing those communities like I was talking about in the last video as well, and that caused a lack of harmony. But the fact that I had done these symbiotic exercises to make sure that my environment was in harmony made it really easy to put it back together, just like you saw. It took me maybe 10 minutes to put my room back together from the way it was. This symbiosis is where stewardship comes into play, and stewardship is one of the most critical elements that you're going to have. Make sure that the things that you have in life that you want to take care of, that you want to be in charge of, that you want to have a symbiotic relationship with. For example, this chair that I'm sitting in. I like this chair. It's a phenomenal chair. It's made of wood, it has all the things that I like about it, and so I take care of it. I dust it, I maintain it, I replace the fabric when I need to. All of those things are part of the symbiotic relationship that I have with this specific chair. There is only one chair, and it stays most of the time covered in my garage unless we're doing recordings like this. This is why hoarding all of those items and keeping them outside of your periphery so you don't out of sight, out of mind again, make sure that you're bringing that intention to it. You're not being a steward of that. It's not doing anything for you, but costing a lot of money and a lot of resources, and not just physical resources. These are emotional resources as well. My lab is currently transforming into a space for movement that will harness movement for people and encourage them to move well. Because the lab, I wasn't using it for what I intended for it to be originally, to become parasitic to me. 
there was a weight to the laboratory that was just starting to amass items and objects and things and dust and a bunch of stuff that just didn't matter to my life. And now I was just taking care of the space and inappropriately misusing what it could be, what it could bring to a community such as movement and becoming healthier through that movement. This new intention and repurposing the lab into a movement space is now a symbiotic relationship. And now creating that and creating a structure for that, now I have a relationship with this new space that I've intended to create. And I'm nurturing that space by manifesting it to look a certain way, to have light and energy and the objects and the exercise equipment and all of those pieces that go into having a movement piece. Those are why I'm now building a symbiotic relationship with that space. I'm being a steward of that new space with that new intention. It takes energy for me to do those things though. And it's very difficult to maintain those. And that's when you have to back it up a little bit, take the time for yourself, nurture yourself. That self-care is really important for you too. And you can bring more of that intentional uh, symbiotic relationship to what you're doing in a much better way if you're taking care of yourself and you can give back to your communities and you can have more intentional relationships and bring that focus and that high caliber piece of life into your own lives. Thanks again for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe below. And also, stay curious.